You want to know how to get fantastic results in F1 Manager with terrible teams. And in this video, I'm going to show you how. You can see on screen here, halfway through the Grand Prix, and we are 1-2 and two with Williams. Albon and Gotifi here, leading the race. Now, we're going to get a great result for Williams in this race, and I'm going to show you all of the tips that I have to maximise your results when you're driving, when you're managing a terrible team. Let's go. So the first thing I did was look at the preset strategies that F1 Manager provided for this race. A, B and C were all two stops. And because of that, I think all of the AI cars are going to do two stops at this race. Now, with the strategies that I've chosen, I think for both William drivers, we can do this as a one stop. And this could be a great advantage to us. Now, I'm going to show you later on, there's some incredible information that F1 Manager gives you when you're deciding strategy. That's kind of hidden away, but you can see if your strategy is going to be a good strategy. And that's exactly why... If you're changing strategy halfway through a race, you should be using the in-game strategy manager, not just pitting on the fly. But let's zoom forward here and let's see how this race develops. We're starting at the moment with Albin in 17th and the TFs basically last. But let's zoom forward and see where we are. So we zoom forward a little bit more and the situation is pretty similar. Latifi's got up to 15th and Albin's in 16th. Now the major advantage of this strategy is that I'm running both drivers on maximum pace. So I underfueled the cars as well. And you can see here it's going to pay big, big, big dividends because we've got a safety car situation. Whenever you see the safety car uh, flag come up, make sure you pause the game immediately. If you've got the session on, the game will pause the game for you, but it will, there's a bit of a delay and you don't want to have gone past the pit entry. So because I underfueled the car, this is perfect. I was able to drive the cars at an incredible pace, both on the tyres and on the fuel. And that's meant Gotifi and Albon have, have managed to go up a few positions. Now there's a safety car situation. This isn't actually that ideal for me on a one-stop because it might put people in range now of being able to do a one-stop possibly. I wasn't quite sure of this. So you can see here I'm thinking about what to do. And I think in the end I'm going to split the strategies here. So I'm going to keep one car out and I'm going to bring one car in. You see there the delay between um, the safety car and the automatic pause. And I'm umming and ahhing and I'm going to bring one car in. So here, let's see what we do. So here we go. Here we are at the most important screen. This is the in-race strategy screen I told you about earlier. And look on the right-hand side. Look at estimated race time. That is the secret source to doing strategy in F1 Manager. It really, really is. Let me know in the comments, by the way, if you've never seen that before. And also make sure you're subscribed as well. Your support of this channel is blowing my mind. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. But you can see here, as I'm changing the strategy around, you can see the estimated race time go up or down. So I'm trying to work out here, is it worth me getting Alex Albon onto some soft tyres um, and then we're going to go onto the mediums later on. And because the difference is pretty marginal, nine second loss, I decide to do it and take advantage of putting on a safety car. And we're going to keep Latifi out there because Latifi's already out there on the hard tyres. So that was really important for me to go into that strategy page and not just kind of make a random decision on the fly by just changing tyres. That's really, really key. So let's play this forward and see what happens once Alex Albon pits. So we can see here, safety car's about to come in and I'm having to really push Alex Albon here because he was so far behind. Um, Albon actually span in this race at the beginning, by the way, which is why he ended up be behind the Tifi. But here you see, we're catching here. Aren't going to just overtake a million cars of momentum. We do slow down. Um, but here we go. We basically got a free pit stop for Albon. He's on the soft tyres. And he can just go absolutely hell for leather. And we've got Latifi up there in 14th with some position. In hindsight, should I pit Latifi here? I think so. I think so because Latifi, should, well, Albin's going to catch Latifi pretty quickly. Now we're going to play it forward. And this is where our strategy choice at the beginning of the race is going to play massive dividends. Lap 20 and we're going to see a lot of cars pit here. But we're going to do the two stop. So you see at the end of this lap, a load of drivers are going to jump into the pit and look what happens to Latifi. Latifi is now up to P6 and Albon's in P8. And these guys are both on the one-stop strategy. So the cars that have just pitted are going to have to pit again, same as us. So we've gained basically a whole pit stop. The, the safety car obviously bunched everyone up, which is pretty crazy. So this is, if you go to that strategy screen at the beginning of the race, have a look at the three preset strategies. If you can do something a, a little bit alternative and you see that there's actually it's a faster f um, kind of uh, uh, lights to flag finish time, then 100% try and do that. So let's play this forward and see again how it's going to play out. 
Right, so George Russell is pitting from the lead, and that means Alex Albon in the Williams is going to lead this Grand Prix, and he's still got 74% of soft tyres. I mean, Albon is looking pretty good. Um, honestly, this Williams car is an absolute dog. It is so unbelievably so. This is the first season, and the car's slow, but we are one and two. The field is still pretty bunched up. I mean, Norris is only 19 seconds off the leader, so within the pit stop. But they're all going to be kind of jostling together, all going to be fighting, and my boys at the front can do some clean laps. So, you know, you may be watching this thinking, okay, well, your first and second 25 laps in, what's going to happen later down the race? Let's zoom ahead and find out, because this is going to be a really good result for Williams. So lap 37, so quite a long way into this Grand Prix now. Latifi is going to pit this lap. Latifi has spun a couple of times, so <laughs> he's kind of struggling a little bit. And we're going to pit Alex Albon, I think, probably next lap. We're going to, next lap or this lap, we're going to pit Alex Albon. So let's see what happens when these guys pit, because this is a real critical question. We're going to be on the same strat then, pretty much, as everyone else in terms of having to do one more pit stop. So let's see what happens. Right, you rejoin us with Latifi going off again. Thanks so much, go Tifi. But we're going to zoom back and Alex Albon is going to be coming out of the pits exactly now. So let's see what happens when Albon comes out of the pits. Where is he? Oh, he's coming into the pits right now, sorry. So he's coming into the pits, 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 pits. And coming out in 14th place. So this looks like it's turned pretty bad again. So if you're kind of new to F1, you're thinking, oh, down in 14th place, 16th place. But the critical thing here is we have done our only pit stop of the race and other drivers ahead of us still have to pit. And we are only 10 seconds behind P6. And again, they might be fighting a little bit. So we really need to see what happens when the other drivers pit. Are they just going to be much faster than us and we're going to drop behind? Or are we going to zoom back up again when everyone pits? So I'm going to go ahead here and uh, fast forward us to the pit stops. And again, this is the fruition of our strategy. So I'm zooming us forward here and we're going to see Russell and Norris in the pits and Albon is going to jump them. So Albon has jumped even Hamilton, which surprised me actually. I wasn't expecting to jump Ham Hamilton. And there's a Mercedes in the background. So we are up to P6. I think Ocon will have to pit again. And Perez may need to pit, I'm not sure. But, you know, we're not going to beat the Ferraris and the Red Bulls here, really. But in this Williams, we are literally fighting everyone else. There's Ocon going into the pits. Where is Alex Albon? It's looking pretty good for Albon as he goes into the chicane. And yeah, he's going to jump Ocon by a long way as well. So we are up to P5 now with Albon. And if you're playing this game, you're playing with Williams or Aston Martin you will know how unusual this is. So this is just kind of putting some builder blocks together, a little bit of luck as well, but fundamentally just a really solid strategy. And uh, the safety car, I think, assists us a little bit. But even without the safety car, I think we, we'd be doing pretty good. So we've got people hunting us down now on soft tyres. In F1 Manager, as you probably know if you're watching this channel, the difference between the softs and the mediums and hard is not that great. It should probably be greater. So you've got all these people hunting down Alex Albon. And we're, we're going to zoom ahead now. I don't, I don't want to just long this out. So let's see what happens by the end of the race. So basically at the end of the race, we are hunting down Hamilton. I did quite a bit of management of the ERS and the pace. We've got tyres. It's a last lap. I was really, 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 really pushing to catch Hamilton here. And you can see we're absolutely hassling him. We've got a bit of a queue behind us as well. But we are going to bring Alex Albon over the line in sixth place. If you have any more questions about F1 strategy, make sure to join our Discord, by the way. It's absolutely buzzing. And ask me any comments, um, ask me any questions in the comments of this video because I've been playing this game quite a lot and some of the stuff about it is not so intuitive. Like the fact that you can dominate the strategy here isn't something you might expect. You have to do a custom strategy. But there we go. That's how you get good results with uh, terrible teams and F1 manager. It's not guaranteed, obviously, but if you give yourself the best possible chance, you can get a huge result like a P6 for Williams, which is um, absolutely mad. But there we go. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you all. Well, there's some more F1 videos here if you want to watch them and you might enjoy them. But otherwise, see you next time.